Today will be the number six of Isaiah Burnash. On the outside will be the 16, Cassie Reynolds. Allison Ray and Christian Vargas are in row number two. And there's Matthew Buss and Dave Lillian in row three. John Andrews and Forrest D. Mars round start row four. And Casey Hoyt, Maxwell Smart ran at your top ten. And our winner from Pocono was Owen Miles as he takes the 12th position here in today's race. And let's take a look at the rest of the field where they'll be starting here in this race. And some part-timers in the field, the 50 Jackson Nantle is making another start here tonight at Road America. And an another part-timer, I might have passed him, Hayden Stringer is also making a start here in this race at Road America today. It'll be a 12 lap race at Road America on the tricky road course. It's gonna be another road course race for these drivers here today. Going side by side now as we're heading down to the home stretch into the playoffs. And there are 14 different winners this season. So will we see a 15th winner or will we have another driver with another win here today? Here we go. 12 laps at Road America. It should be a lot of fun on the road course. And we're going green here in the Jockey 250. As we're underway with the green flag. Already a big crash behind. Oh, big pile up behind. Oh man, a huge pile up. Huge hold up. A big, a huge crash on the first lap. Maxwell smartest hit. Oh my goodness. Big crash on the first lap of the dang race. And the 16 of Ka and Cassie Reynolds in the lead. Oh, big crash on the first lap. Wow. Yikes. Huge wreck on that very first lap. My goodness. A crazy one to start things off. And there you see the 16 car else of 16, I should say, Cassie Reynolds. He's in the lead. Oh, my. That is crazy. Crazy start to the race. There you see Allison Rain moves up to second and Isaiah Burnesh is down to third place. Better be careful, that is a tricky turn. Oh man, these turns are tricky, very tricky turns here at Road America. It's a long, it's a big track, a huge track. So a lot of cars have wrecked. Porter, Smart have wrecked, they've all wrecked out. Richardson has wrecked out. And Reynolds has wrecked out. 16 has crashed. Now the six car going for third place against the double zero Christian Vargas. The yellow will be out and the 10 car off track a little bit. That might cost the 10 a little, a few positions. He's gonna get third place by the way, racing to the line from the looks of it. Oh, it's close. It's the double zero. Wow, he just got by the six right during the caution flag. 
All right, so Caution is out first time today in this race as the 16 car is going to lead back to the green. Four cars are out with Maxwell Smart Clear Richardson also out of the race and Quinn Porter and Darian Tan are also out as we are going back to the green. And so far, so good, they have decided to stay clean. So that was where the wreck happened on the first lap and so far they've been able to stay clean. And look at it, look at the top two pulling away. Wow, they got a great start together. It's between Cassidy Reynolds and Allison Rain. Oh, bump and run on the 40 for the 48, trying to get the 16. Still can't quite get there as we have another wreck. It's Billy Bishop involved this time around as we bring out another caution. Oh, he got turned. Hits into the wall. Looks like Landon Smith Jr. made contact with the 12, and I'm not sure why this would bring out a caution because um, he was in the back when it happened, but, well, we're, the caution's out again anyway. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, did Paul Barber get into a, um, a mix up there? I think he did. Oh, he might have. Yes, he got into the, um, yeah, he hit one of the cars there, and he nearly gets turned around. Yeah, Billy Bish and the 24 car, Paul, Bar Paul Barber, has some damage. So we're back to racing back to the caution again as Allison Rain takes on Cassie Reynolds for the lead. Can the 48 take the lead before the yellow comes out? These two drivers are definitely going to be the ones to watch, battling it out for the win. For the win. 16 will be leading down to the caution flag once again. We're going to get back to the green as soon as we can. Cassie Reynolds looks for his third win of the season, would lead all drivers, and the 16 would be the one to watch for the championship. We'll see who's going to get there as we are back to green. 16 is off to a great start. And now the 6 wants to take second place from the 48. Five to go. No, six to go. I'm sorry, six to go. And they're three wide in the middle, and I and I really don't think this is a great idea to go three wide in a turn like this. We've seen a lot of wrecks in this corner, and it's all because they tend to go three wide, battling for whatever position they can get. It is a tough, tough course. Oh no, more cars spin and Matthew Buss has spun. 21 is held up as well. And more cars held up. Zach Fitzwater held up. Stewie Moore, I think, is held up too. But the caution will not come out as they will keep racing. They will stay green for now. Oh, look at the 6 and 5 battling it out. The 6 car is now in 4th as 4 Steam Mars is just taken 3rd. And the 16 has pulled a little bit ahead. Cassie Re Cassidy Reynolds has pulled ahead. And he's going to try to win again at Road America. And this is where they got their first win in the PLCS as a part-time team with Leia Walker. Will they do it again as a full-time team here today? Allison Rain is looking for her second win of this season. That would lock her in almost into the playoffs. We'll see if that'll be enough to lock her in. If that win will lock her into the playoffs. But if Reynolds wins, definitely going to be the one to watch for the championship. And they're taking pit stops. Lap seven. Oh, I did not, I did not see this coming. With just five to go, they're taking their pit stops. They're not. They're gonna try to make. They need the. They need the fuel. Right at this point, they need the fuel. So they're taking their pit stops. Lap eight, and the lead is gonna go to Forced E Mars. Forced E Mars is in front of the pack right now. He stays out during the set of stops and more cars down pit road. 
And if there's a caution, it's going to mix things up for sure. <laughs> We've had cautions happen during pit stops before, so... Well, if it, if it happens now, it could come down to an overtime finish at this point of the race. And now we see the 33 of Forsty Mars in front. But I'm sure that's not going to last long because he has to... He might have to pit at some point. But the 33 as a rookie is enjoying the lead right now. He's trying to win this race. Maybe might get a good strategy out. He might still be out of pit road as the leader. Unless the driver's behind him. And there's a lot of drivers behind him, believe it or not. Unless if some drivers decide to stay one more lap. And try to go for the win that way. Still waiting for a caution, possibly. And if there is a caution, it might give them some extra time. They might be in front if they go to overtime. But I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna be enough for the 33, though he might have to come down on this lap. He's gonna go through the other corners and then he'll decide whether or not he'll pit on this lap or wait another one. Isaiah Burnesh is behind him in the second position. There's John Andrews in third spot as well. See if Forrest C. Morris decides to pit on this lap. And he's not going to pit. He's staying out. And the six car is going to pit. So Burnesh is going to have to pit. And so is the 19 and the more other, other cars are pitting on this lap. Forrest C. Morris is staying out. He's doing another lap. Just... Four to go, and he's still hoping for a caution at this point. He still wants that caution, and if it happens, he might be leading while saving the fuel. He might still try to lead and try to lead into overtime with four to go. Four to go in at Road America, four laps to go. And there's John Andrews in the second position, and Garrett Albertson is going to jump up to third place. There was Albertson was a top three car in Pocono in the second race last weekend. Still trying to win this season. And look at Hayden Stringer. What a run for him in the top five. The 36 in a part-time ride is in fourth. We've had a part-timer win this race before. Road America, I believe, last season when Colleg Racing was a part-time team. Leo Walker took the win in the 16 at Road America, I believe, last season here at this very track. So we'll see if the 36 front row 36 part-time team can get the can win this race and another part-time team pulls out a shocker. And there's our winner from and Landon Smith Jr. the one who won his second race of the season at the first Pocono race um last weekend. The other one was the 22 Owen Miles. So Landon Smith is already probably in a probably all but locked into the playoffs at this point with those two victories in the season provided he stays above the top 30 at regular season's end just three to go can the 33 stay out another lap or does he have to come down pit road on this lap and there he goes Forrest e. Mars onto the pits John Andrews onto the pits as well following him behind the others are coming down they're going to get their tires and fuel. All those drivers in front going to get their pit stops. And the 13, Paul Barber, I think is... Oh, he's on the lead lap. Just no hood. But he has to come down too. Alex Hawkins is in the next one in, 14th right now. So is he going to have to come down? Or is he going to stay out and try to stay, take the lead? No, he's not going to try. But Unleash Your Quillies is going to try. He was 22nd. Oh, wait a minute. Is he lapped down? No, he's not. He's not a lap down, but Forsty Mars is out. The 33 is off pit road, and here come the lead pack. And the 15's going to get by him. The 15 gets by the 33, and he is in the lead. And Forsty Mars might not even get by the 16. Into the braking zone, he might be even on this corner, or the 16 might get a better run on the exit. Sure enough, we'll see if the 16 can take second from the 33. And the 16 is going to take second place from the 33. So that is for second, and Cassie Reynolds 
is going to take it away from Foresty Mars, but the 33 is going to try to fight back. How in the world did the 15 stay out for a little longer? My goodness. Ooh, wow, 33 was trying to find a lane and he gets into the grass. He's trying to get by the 16. He loses the momentum. He's into the grass. He loses the position to John Andrews. Oh, man, and this could be a battle for the win if the 15 decides to pit. Otherwise, they're going to have to catch Unleash or Quillies. His, and the 15 car trying to be the unexpected two-time winner this season. As the 15, he won, and last time he won was at a road course. Unleash or Quillies got his only win this season at Circuit of the Americas. Circuit of the Americans. Or Circuit of the Americas, whatever, Coda. But... The 15 trying to win for the second time and would both come on road courses. Two to go. And looks like the 16 is cleared second. Cassie Reynolds in a very good position for a good points day. It could be a win. Oh no, not it's not going to be a win. Maybe not because the 15 somehow comes out of nowhere and takes the lead. There, here he comes on Leisure Quillies with two to go is the leader. Hoping that a he's hoping that a caution does not come out at this point, and he's trying to hang on to the sixth over the sixteen. Unleash your Quillies is doing a pretty solid job. He had the best strat. He had the strategy to beat turns out and we almost didn't even know about it unleash your quillies though he is just a lap and a half away from another win it would be the second win of the season for the 15 and he would also get another and it would also come on a road course and his only win so far has come at circuit of the americas so road course experience is paying off for the 15 team Trying to hold off at the 16 and hoping that we stay green for the final laps. It would be a tremendous day for the 15 team if they can hang on for the win. Man, Unleash your Quillies, he's got to be a little nervous with the 16 behind him as the 16 has two wins already. But if Quillies gets another win, he'll be almost even with the team. And he'll be likely going to he'll be one of the favorites to win the championship in season 43. Here we go, white flag next time by, unless if there is a caution, and he's hoping that the fifth, and he's hoping that they doesn't see the yellow. As we come to the white flag, let's see if he's going to stay out or he's going to have to pit. Oh, he's out of fuel. He is out of gas. Oh, man, it was too good to be true. The 15 runs out of fuel, and the white flag is going to wave with one lap to go for Cassidy Reynolds. I, I thought that the 15 was going to make it, but uh, just a lap short. Look at John Andrews. He's coming up. He's coming in. He's, he's really fast right now. Let's see if John Andrews can hold. Let's see if John Andrews can make a run on the 16. That 16 has been tough, though. He's been staying tough. Will Cassie Reynolds hold off John Andrews at the end? Because Andrews, he has that experience on the road courses. Try not to make a mistake here. Into the into Canada corner for the final time. That five looks a little too high. Looks like the 16 might be good to go at the very end of this race. 16 got a little bit of a, a breathing room between him and the five. Is he gonna hold them off? Looks like he might. Final corners for Cassidy Reynolds, trying to get his third win of the season. Dominating car, the 16, and they're the ones to watch here in this race, in this race for the championship in the PLCS. to the final corner and it's going to be Cassie Reynolds taking the checkered flag in the jockey made in America 250 at Road America it's the third win for the 16 in season 43 
Well, there you go. Six, the 16 gets its third win of the season. Cassie Reynolds does it again at Road America. An amazing win for that 16 team. Looked like the 15 was going to make it out and make it on field, but it was just not meant to be. As Cassie Reynolds earns his third win of the season here today. And we will see you next weekend at Knoxville. The dirt race is coming back. So until then, we will see you later.